Hey everyone, in this example video, we are asked to approximate the definite integral of the function 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 over the interval of 2 to 6 using the right Riemann sum with four equal subintervals. Additionally, we are asked to find the relative and maximum error. The first thing I'm going to do here is draw out our function so that we can visually see the steps that we are going to be applying. The polynomial function will look something like this, with our lower integration bound 2 and our upper integration bound of 6, and we are trying to approximate the area under the curve within these bounds. The first step we need to do is find out our delta x, that being the spacing of our subintervals. Since we are told that we want equal spacing of four subintervals, we are going to use the following equation, b minus a which gives us our length of the x that we are going to be integrating over. Then we divide that number by the number of subintervals that we want, which gives us 1. So let's add those onto our graph here on the left. Secondly, we need to develop our right Riemann sum equation to solve for this problem. To do this, we can begin with our general formula that was developed in our past Riemann sum theory video. With equal subinterval spacing, our delta x becomes a constant, and we can factor it in front of our summation term. Therefore, we get the following equation. Now, let's integrate through our summation notation from i equals 1 to i equals 4. So, as we go here, I will add in the appropriate areas to our graph so that you can better visualize it. We begin with our constant delta x, which we said can be factored out. We begin with a function evaluated at xi, which is x1. Therefore, this is saying that our first rectangle's height depends on the function evaluated at x1, which is this point here. So, if you were to expand this here, you would have delta x times f of xi, or f of x1 here, which is going to be this first rectangle that we just drew. Now, let's move on to when i equals 2, and therefore we have x2. And in evaluating the function, we have f of x2, and that corresponds on our graph like so. Then we'll continue this trend for the next two terms until i equals 4. Next, we need to actually know what these values in our equation are. To do this, we need to evaluate our given function at these inputs. Let's go ahead and do that now. Plugging in our inputs and solving, we get the following table of input output values. Lastly, we have all the required variables now, and we can now solve for the areas by plugging in our recently found values. Therefore, this definite integral is approximately equal to 376, and this is our final answer. For this question, since we have all the relevant information, we can actually check our answer's exact solution using a definite integral calculator online or just solving it by yourself. Doing so, the analytical solution to this problem is 305.3. That means that our right Riemann sum is off by a relative error of 23.1, which is not great, but this does make sense based on our schematic here as we learned in the past theory video, with a monotonically increasing function, the right Riemann sum will way overestimate our integral, which is obvious with these red regions here. So, if on a test, you were asked how you might improve this error, you could say that increasing our n value, or increasing our subintervals, will reduce our error proportionally. Next, we need to find what the maximum error of this Riemann sum is. We learned in a previous video that when we have equal step sizes, our maximum error of a Riemann sum is going to be the absolute difference between our function evaluated at our end point and our function evaluated at our initial point, times our step size. This results in a maximum error of 114. Therefore, because we know our actual definite integral, we can say for this problem that the integral using Riemann sums will be 305 plus or minus 114. 
I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to solve a right Riemann sum problem. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.